Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, I'm so much excited that I hardly find any words to express myself. Uh, it was one of my long cherishing dreams that I would upload videos for the students of English medium school and college, especially for the students of uh, GSISC, uh, Green Scholars International School and College, uh, that means my previous school. This video is dedicated to all the students of my previous school, uh, GSISC. Today we will discuss worksheet number 6, uh, page number 167 from the book Edexcel International GCSE 91 English Language B, Section A, written by Masud Parvez. In order to understand the class, you have to go through the text related to the question. The text is on page number 170. Uh, you have to know each and every word of the text perfectly. Then this lecture will benefit you most. Okay, let's look at the question first. Here is the question. Read the newspaper article, uh, the text, you know. Uh, chips in the flower pot, bread in a flat cap. Why don't restaurants use plates anymore? In this article, the writer puts forward her views in a lively, light-hearted manner. Analyze how she develops the reader's interest. You should support your answer with close reference to the passage, including brief quotations, uh, and the mark will be 10 marks. So, as you know that uh, in order to answer this question, we have to know uh, the linguistic and the structural devices. Uh, we have to keep in our mind that you have been asked to analyze how she develops the reader's interest how the writer developed the reader's interest. That's the main point. So I'm going to discuss some points with you that will benefit you. Uh, you can see some marked lines here. Actually, I marked these lines before so that it might be easy for me and you. Let's start. Point number one, uh, the first person narration engages her readers, and that means the writer's readers, and develops a strong sense of her lively personality. So uh, you have to give the references. So where are the references? The blue colored lines are the references here. Uh, the line, I have hit on a genius idea. The first one reference. Uh, the second one, uh, fortunately my guests I'm only joking. Um, I wouldn't have gone that far. And these are the references for the first point. And the second point, the use of direct address and the conversational style uh, involves the reader in a lively way. The green colored lines are the references. You can see one thing you could be sure of until fairly recently was that your meal would arrive on a plate and the mind you and but do you know what these are the references of the use of direct address and the conversational style um, so the next point point number three uh, the writer's style of questioning in the title uh, you see the title why don't restaurants use plates anymore? So the writer's style of questioning in the title and throughout the article is used to encourage the reader to agree with her uh, viewpoint. One is the first reference. You can see the yellow colored lines. And, and the second, how does that sound to you? And that's also a question. So what's it all about? And that's another question. So these are the references of this point. So now we will go to our next point. Uh, point number four, the red colored lines. Personal experiences and anecdotes uh, are used to further reinforce our views and, and to develop a positive, friendly relationship with the reader. 
uh, you can see the references in the past in the past couple of the years I have dot dot dot, dot like this and uh, out of a dog bowl once I was presented with a burger on a mini blackboard like this these are the anecdotes and these anecdotes are personal experiences uh, are used to further reinforce her views and to help uh, develop a positive uh, friendly relationship with the reader and the last point of today's lecture is uh, point number five uh, you can see at the end of the text uh, here the writer has used double exclamation marks at the end of the text the use of double exclamation marks at the end creates a dramatic effect and a strong personal plea so hope you have understood the lecture perfectly uh, inshallah in the next video we will discuss some more points uh, so till then Allah Hafiz Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh